Welcome to Life in My Greenhouse. Today, we're going to be walking through the steps on how to make this easy and delicious breakfast pizza. The base of this recipe will be made from sourdough discard. It is such an easy way to use up extra sourdough starter if you happen to have it on hand. Knowing that you can potentially reap the benefits of this long fermentation process of your starter might just be an excellent way to start off your day. If you are a new member to our channel, I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you so much for your support and for subscribing. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much. So without further ado, let me go ahead and show you how I use up my sourdough discard in this breakfast recipe. Begin by placing a cast iron skillet in a very hot oven, 450 degrees Fahrenheit. You can let your cast iron sit in there for about a half an hour. Let it get piping hot. Remove the skillet very carefully from the oven. Careful not to burn yourself. Your sourdough discard does not actually have to be bubbly or activated for this recipe. It has to obviously be alive, but it doesn't have to be extremely active. In fact, I have used my sourdough starter directly from the refrigerator without feeding it the night before and it worked out just fine. The base of our breakfast pizza will be more of a flatbread opposed to a leaven bread. And so this is why this works perfectly for breakfast pizza. To your piping hot skillet, go ahead and pour your sourdough discard starter evenly across your pan. Let's add a little personality to our sourdough flatbread. We're going to go ahead and sprinkle on some seasonings. I like to use garlic powder, onion powder, and a little bit of basil. Now return your sourdough starter back to the hot oven and let it bake for about 7 to 8 minutes depending on your oven. Just keep an eye on it. Carefully remove your golden flatbread from the oven. It's now the perfect base for all your breakfast ingredients and this is where you can become very creative. And this is extremely versatile and so you can add all the toppings you want and skip the ones you don't want. I'll go ahead and put three cracked eggs into a bowl, add a splash of milk, and whisk to combine. We'll then go ahead and add some pizza sauce to our flatbread. I'll be using a variety of peppers for my pizza toppings including chopped onions, sweet peppers, bacon, sausage meat, and of course, cheese. Fry your bacon until it's crispy, and then saute your peppers and onions. Remove the sausage meat from the casing. And so now you just go ahead and add your sausage meat to the onions and peppers. Now once your sausage meat is cooked, go ahead and pour your whisked eggs right into the pan. The rest of this breakfast pizza recipe comes together rather quickly. Just go ahead and reduce the heat of your pan and slowly scramble the eggs. Low, slow, and steady, continue to scramble your eggs until they're completely cooked through. I really enjoy baking sourdough bread. I find it extremely therapeutic. However, I don't often get to do it as often as I like. And so finding creative recipes and ways of using up my sourdough discard is really helpful. And I really don't like to waste food.
in this economy, I think it's so important to be able to be food secure. And so finding creative ways to use up ingredients is really half the battle. Let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in seeing how I make my sourdough discard pancake recipes. With our eggs, we want to leave them slightly undercooked because this pizza will actually be going back into the oven. And so try not to dry your eggs out, please. Nobody likes dried scrambled eggs. At least I don't think they do. And just go ahead and continue to layer the toppings of your pizza. You can add whatever you like. I'm just adding some mozzarella and pepper jack cheese. Now, this is a very hearty, hearty breakfast. I mean, you can really just make it for brunch if you really wanted to. Or if you intermittent fast, this might be a perfect way to uh, have your breakfast slash lunch meal uh, just by creating this breakfast pizza. I added some fresh chopped parsley because we should all have some greenery for breakfast. And also because whenever you can add extra nutrition, why not? And that's pretty much it. Just put that right back into the oven. You can probably leave it in for about seven minutes or so. Just keep an eye on it. Once it's out of the oven, all golden and delicious, add some additional flavor if you choose. I'm adding a little bit of red chili flakes and drizzle of olive oil because that's how I like it. But look how beautiful this is. Just so delicious. The layers, the textures, the flatbread is the perfect consistency. It's not too thick, not too thin. I went ahead and sliced some tomatoes from the garden because I had it. That's right, we just had a harvest of tomatoes in December. It is so nice to be able to go to the greenhouse and actually get tomatoes. It is really the best feeling in the world. We are continuing to grow right through the winter, so I will keep you posted on that. Um, if you haven't had a chance to check out my garden videos, uh, please go ahead if you're into that kind of stuff. Please go ahead and check out my garden videos. Uh, and you can even just take a look at the greenhouse and see what's growing in there. Now look at that. There's our slice of beautiful breakfast pizza, sourdough bread at the bottom, basically sourdough starter, discard. How amazing was that? Now just take a good look at that breakfast slice. If that's not magical, I don't know what is. Now before you take a bite, can you kindly do me a favor and just go ahead and like this video? And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, come on, join the family already. It will allow me to continue to spread the love one meal at a time. Hit the bell notification and let me know if you try the recipe and what you think about it. Uh, and also just let me know if there's anything that you'd like me to make for you. As a thank you in advance, I provided you with a recipe card for this meal. Please go ahead and share it with someone you love. Take care of yourself and each other, my beloved. And remember, the grass is always greener where you water it. See you next time.